Hi, welcome to another Philbowl Photography Tutorial. Um, I've written an article about white balance in the past and it struck me that I'd never actually gone to the trouble of explaining how to use a grey card. Uh, as, a, as an image here with my grey card uh, shown, this is an Optica grey card that comes on a lanyard. It also has uh, white and black ones for um, managing your uh, levels of exposure, but I generally don't use those that much. Uh, the grey card though helps for your white balance and this whole set with the little lanyard and everything was like twelve dollars so there's really no uh, no excuse for not having one of these, they're so cheap uh, in any case I hadn't written anything about how to use them so step one when you're trying to shoot with really good white balance and, ha and have your colors and, and white balance really accurate uh, the best thing to do is shoot raw um, you can do this in JPEG um, a little bit but it, it, I don't think the colors come out quite as accurately um, because JPEG um, it it skews the colors one way or the other if you're wrong and then I think it's a little bit less accurate when you try and try to um, to tint it back to to the neutral white balance so anyway you uh, you shoot your subject with the gray card in the light that you want to balance to um, in this case it's basically window light coming through the window uh, there's a little bit of television light now if you look up in um, the RGB panel up here near the histogram you'll see the mix of um, colors that you get and in this case my blue channel is brighter so I've got too much blue that means my image is a little cold um, and I also have a lot less green than I have red so if all I was to do was to tint towards the sort of yellowy red warm end of the scale I could get the reds and the blues to balance out but I'd probably um, it probably have a magenta cast to it still and I think when you just look at this image you can kind of tell it has a bit of a magenta cast to it uh, so what you do is you pick this white balance tool up here, it's um, basically the same thing in, in Lightroom as it is in Camera Raw here, um, and in either Lightroom or Camera Raw can deal with the, the raw files, and, um, and you just pick on that, that grey card right there. Um, now uh, this is a particularly noisy image, um, and so the numbers, the exact numbers that you get when you do this may differ slightly depending on um, exactly where on the card you, you hit it. Um, it's supposed to sample I think from a, an area uh, on the card and when you um, when you use this eyedropper tool you should see the RGB values on that grey card um, be about the same. In this case that's about true. Um, so uh, so there you are, that's, that's your grey card. Now so that's your white balance set um, based on the light that was in the room at that time uh, but obviously you don't want a picture of your subject holding the card so you select the other images in your set that you want to apply that white balance to and, and synchronize uh, in this case just white balance and now my other picture that I do is um, is white balanced as well so with the same white balance settings um, and you can look at what what it was like oops, what it was like before and now um, go back to custom and, and this is neutrally white balanced um, now you could um, you could arguably use a white shirt to do a very similar thing, um, and so you can kind of click the dropper on the white shirt. Um, but it's not a, that's not a perfectly white shirt, um, but you get very similar results. Uh, the problem is you don't always have a subject that's wearing white, um, and so it's really more accurate to use the um, to use this uh, gray card. And like I say, it, it is very cheap. I don't use it for everything. Um, uh, if the light's changing a lot, it's going to be cumbersome to whip out that grey card all the time. Uh, so, if your monitor is calibrated, you can eyeball it and you know do the best you can. Uh, I shoot with auto white balance; that gets me pretty close most of the time, unless there's a situation where I really don't want the white balance to change between shots, like doing time lapse or some kind of series or something like that, in which I'm, I may just set the white balance. Um, but in any case, this gets you pretty close. Gets you pretty close to a neutral kind of white balance. Um, sometimes you might go a little warmer, uh, just for skin tones and things like that. And um, you might kind of just customize it a little bit yourself, based on feel. But um, yeah, if you're using the gray card, it's just a really quick, easy way to get um, a neutral white balance. It's really good for product photography and, and uh, still life and cars and things like that. Now. I will say one thing, this only fixes your white balance, it doesn't mean that all your colors are being perfectly rendered. Um, you still ought to set up a camera profile with a color checker card 
and that way your colors will be displayed accurately as well. Uh, all this does is set white balance, so your whites um, will be neutral and skin tones will be pretty close. Uh, so there you go, that's, that's a gray card. Hopefully that was helpful.